Hey y'all, it's Mariah, wife of the Revolting Man. I'm back for another Women's Wednesday. This is my woods, and this is a perfect time to be in it. It is wet and raining a little bit, and the colors are still around, and it feels wonderful out here. So, my topic for today, my favorite topic, is marriage. I also had a dream about this, this early this morning before I woke up, so I, I kind of was like, oh, that's what I gotta talk about. So I was having this conversation in this dream with this young newlywed and I was talking about how what to do or what happens when you all of a sudden just have a spirit and this is you know actually a spirit you know in the in the spiritual realm come upon you of of the spirit of feminism and and this is sort of a new concept for me I don't know where it came from that's why I thought that I should probably talk about it so um you know we know us you know Christians know that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? So there is this this real spirit of feminism, I believe, that's out there. And it's part of our sin nature and it's part of our culture. So it's kind of this two-pronged attack, right? And so what do we do when that spirit is coming on? And, you know, we all feel it and it happens when we're tired. It happens when we're hungry. It happens when the kids are, are running amok in the house and, you know, we're stressed out for other reasons. It happens during different hormonal points in our lives and um, so what do we do what can we do and are there any ways to fight it when we start to feel it coming on and these are just a couple of sort of fun um, light they're supposed to be lighthearted anyways tips to combat that spirit of feminism in our marriages so number one is smile and this sounds so simple and so easy and it's because it is. When your husband comes in through that door and you're all stressed out, you take the time, greet him at the door with a smile. You know, I mean, that can instantly fix things. I don't know how, but it, men are simple creatures, I believe. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot to, uh, to, to make them happy. So smile. Um, make him a sandwich or whatever. You know, it's not even about food. It doesn't even have to be about food because, there, you know, there's some guys who like to cook and all that. And But for the most majority of men, it seems like food is kind of important. Make him a sandwich. Do something um, out of service to him. You know, that if, it not, if not cooking, then um, like the revolting man likes it when I take his boots off when he gets home. You know, it's just a, an act that says, you know what, I, I respect you. I honor you. And I'm thankful for you that you went and you worked all day long and you're providing for the family and this is how I'm going to show you my gratitude. So little things, little acts of service, if you can do those, then I think that you can really stick a, a pin in that spirit that's trying to creep in and say, mm -mm, no. <laughs> so make him a sandwich. This is one that I still work on. And I'm going to take a little break here and say that... Um, a little, uh, what's the word I want to use? Interjection. Um, in these videos, I am not saying that I am perfect at all. I am so far from perfect. And I don't want anyone, any ladies out there to think that, you know, I struggle with this just as much as y'all do. And, um, and I talk, I'm, when I'm making these videos, I'm talking just as much to myself than, as I am to you. So, this is one that I do not have down yet, and I want to, and it's silly that I make excuses that it's just something very simple that you can say, but it's sir, you know, calling him sir, that's so respectful, that's so like, you know, I respect you, and we teach our children that, to, to say yes sir and no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am, you know, this is the South, but yet I wasn't raised in the South, so it doesn't come naturally to me, and, um, and it's something that I know he would like to see, or hear, and, um, and something like that, as simple as one three-letter word, sir, I believe, can break that spirit of feminism that's coming on you. You know, I think that could be, you know, just as powerful as that smile at the door is saying that word. Boom! You know, like, how can a, a spirit of feminism exist if you're humbling yourself to that point where you're saying, sir, to your husband? I think that works. I, I think that works. And, you know, it's something that, put it in your toolkit, you know, it's. Something you, you can you can pull out and maybe use. I need to use it more, honestly. So smile. Call him sir. Give him make him a sandwich. You know, this last one is is not really like I said, this is supposed to be more lighthearted than anything else. But um look more feminine. 
uh, I think this is uh, like something huge that happened in my life and I'm not sure, um, you know, if, if other ladies have had the same experience or not. And again, it's all about what your husband likes. If your husband doesn't like, you know, you to look a certain way, then don't look a certain way. You know, I mean, it's, you, it's all about finding out what he likes and, and doing it. But um, I think a big thing with my transformation, when I went from, you know, all out, I am woman, hear me roar, to, you know, the progressing work that I am today, <laughs> is when I started to dress more feminine. When I started covering my hair, my head, um, you know, it kind of lended to this progression to wearing more skirts. And somehow, I don't know how it happens, but when you start wearing more skirts, you start feeling more of a lady, you know, you start feeling more of a, um, more feminine, more traditional, like the urge to like take your heel off and hit your husband upside the head with it doesn't come out as much when you're, <laughs> when you're dressed modestly and, and wearing a skirt. I don't know what, I don't know what it is about it. Um, but I feel like it's, it's a little small way to stick it to feminism you know that's all i got for today y'all stay blessed stay safe stay warm um, and i'll see you in two weeks bye bye